What's up everybody, I'm back. I've got our video here regarding our hatcher build. Um, it's all done, let me go ahead and give you guys a look. All right, so now this is the hatcher that I just got finished up with, the incubator's down below. Got it open so it can air out, uh, and I went ahead and transferred some of these eggs over to hatch. Um, but it's pretty basic, same size, same dimensions, just got a lot of different upgrades this time around. For example, the first upgrade that you'll notice will be the uh, window in the door. It's just a sheet of plexiglass cut out, chiseled on the inside so that we can lay it into the door. And see in, We've got LED lighting on the inside as you can see, you can add more strips. We've got enough for four hatching trays here. As we make our way around, we'll see the control center here that I built. It's got our anchored thermostat, fan switch and light switch, and a hygrometer with the temperature in Celsius. Right now, as you can see, it's still heating up because I opened the door quite a bit a minute ago. Over here, we've got our power supply, which is just one of these guys. Either that easy or we've also got a switch right there. It turns things on and off. As we make our way around the back, we have our access port to the back, just like our previous incubator. Now this time, because I've made the control center up front, there's not so much that we need to access back here, but we do have our wiring. We got our DC adapter, all of our wiring. I tried to keep it clean. Just two fans in here right now and it's actually working great, but uh, we, I do have mounts to add extra fans and they just connect right in via the four pin connectors. On the inside, we've got our hatching trays. Oh, and it's sealed shut with the weather seal. Very difficult to open. No, it's a good seal. Um, so yeah, we've got our hatching trays here. They're not complete yet. So this one, I just went ahead and put it on the floor with some parchment paper and put the eggs down on top of them. But yeah, we've got our, as you can see, this incubator, this hatch is built just like the other one with actual GQF parts from our heating element, our water supply, and of course this is an automatic water supply, I'm just not using the hose yet. Um, and yeah, we've got our wiring back here. It looks a little complicated, it's just time consuming, but it's just as long as you do every single piece one step at a time, then it's not that hard and it's actually pretty fun. Like I was saying, we've got control of our lights and fans here. I purchased most of the components for this incubator on Amazon uh, and I'll be linking the items below so that way you can go ahead and find them yourself and purchase them. I am, I am an Amazon affiliate so if you do purchase them I will be receiving uh, compensation for that and it does help me. Um, and at the end of the day I'll just use it to build more of these incubators, show them off, uh, build different configurations like for example one with just one hatcher, one with just one egg turner um, or just one incubator slash hatcher combination that's small, fits on the desktop but works really great, that's what matters. So this video is pretty short, it's just the hatcher itself showing you what it is, how I built it since I couldn't uh, upload the actual construction video. And uh, yeah, if you have any questions, feel free to leave them below in the comments, suggestions, anything. I'm always gonna be building more incubators, making them better. At the end of the day, just because I like learning new stuff and if I could teach somebody else while I'm at it, then why not, right? Um, yeah, I'm gonna be making another video about me building an automatic turner for my incubator down below the hatcher. Um, I've already got the Turner motor and its mount. That way we can go ahead and put these together and uh, we get an automatic turning unit. Of course, there's a lot more electronics that go with it, um, including DPDT switches, two of those, um, two voltage controllers. It's, it's fun, to say the least. So as always, if you enjoyed the video, feel free to like, subscribe, comment, um, anything helps, and see you guys next time.